On January 16th, 2016, Henry Bennett III was shot and killed by Palm Beach County Sheriff's Officer Andrew Cano. It was during a traffic stop in which Henry Bennett III was pulled over and as soon as he pulled the vehicle over, he jumped out of the car and began to run away, fleeing on foot as fast as he can away from Officer Cano. His excuse that day for why defendant Cano, Officer Cano, had to shoot and kill 19-year-old Henry Bennett was because he said that my client, Henry Bennett, turned around, pointed, took a shooting stance, and pointed a gun at his officer. So Officer Cano had no choice but to shoot and kill Henry Bennett, shooting him four times. Despite the fact that we have eyewitness testimony that said that, that my client, Henry Bennett III, did not have a gun in his hand. The video shows, also shows, that defendant Officer Cano began shooting only two to three seconds after Henry Bennett opened the car door. We know that he didn't just shoot him once, he didn't shoot him twice, he didn't shoot him three times. Officer Cano shot Henry Bennett four times. And he shot him in the back, in the head, and in the chest. If defendant Sheriff Rick Bradshaw said that my client, he was running full speed and the video shows him running full speed. If he's running full speed, we only see, we see two seconds of the video and then there's one second before the shooting happens that we don't see. What the sheriff asked you to believe is that in that one second, my client who was running at full speed comes to a dead stop, turns around, faces the officer, assumes, assumes a shooting stance, and points the gun directly at him from his hips. Citizens of Palm Beach County, this is not the Matrix. This is not a John Wayne movie where a cowboy shooting at hips. I don't, shooting from the hip, I don't represent John Wayne. I represent Henry Bennett III. And the officer's version of events doesn't make any sense. Now, the other thing that doesn't make any sense is that Sheriff Rick Bradshaw and the state attorney says that Cano's partner, uh, Jeremy Campbell, found a gun tucked underneath uh, Henry Bennett III's body. Why doesn't that make sense? Do we really believe that after being shot in the back and in the chest and in the head, that Henry Bennett still had the ability to control a gun in his hand? That this gun didn't just fall out of his hand without getting shot? That somehow, miraculously, it stays in his hand and conveniently ends up underneath his body where nobody else can see it, not a single eyewitness at the scene. The only person that can see it is Deputy Campbell who removes it from his body. The sheriff then asks us to believe that Deputy Campbell and Deputy Cano's cameras just happened not to work that day. That all of the officer's cameras on the scenes were broken so no single person could capture a picture of the gun lying underneath my client's body. Why is that? Because there wasn't a gun laying underneath my client's body. We have other photographs that were taken by witnesses of the scene showing that you can't see a gun protruding from underneath the client's body. So we have this invisible gun that's also a stolen gun. The other interesting fact about this gun is that even though the sheriff claims that my client was holding the gun in his hand, my client is bleeding profusely after being shot four times in the neck, or I mean the, the head and the back and the chest, bleeding profusely, but not a single fingerprint and not a single drop of blood. In fact, no DNA evidence was found on the gun of my client. When I got to the crime scene that day, the son laying out on the ground, and Rich Bradshaw, like Jeremy Rand said, have a covering and justify the way my son was shot down. I mean, I just, you know, want justice, you know, not for my son because he gone, man, but the pain that they brought, 
I mean, it's unbearable. It ain't nothing they can do or give me to make me stop feeling the way I feel for what Kano did to my son. I mean, if I had done that, I'd have been locked up right now. He done it, he get off and get to go back to work. I don't think that justice, not only for me and my family, but for the citizens of Palm Beach County. So I'm just asking for justice, you know, for, for the citizens, not, you know, it ain't nothing they can do for me to stop the pain that I feel for myself.